OK, in this question, we're asked to prove by counterexample that the statement cosec theta subtract sine theta is bigger than zero for all values of theta between zero and pi. We are asked to show this is actually false. So what, what counterexample means? This is what it means. All we need to do is find a value, a theta value, a value of theta, so that this thing is less than or equal to zero. So cosec theta subtract sine theta is less than or equal to zero. If we could find a theta that makes that less than zero or makes it equal to zero, then we've shown that this thing can't be strictly bigger than zero for all values, okay? So that's our aim. Now, before we launch into doing some algebra here, let's maybe, if we were to try and think of a value of theta that made that equal zero, we'd be done. And maybe there's an easy answer for theta for that. Now, I might start with theta is equal to, let's say, zero. So if theta is equal to zero, cosec is one over sine, and one over sine zero is like infinite. So we're not getting anywhere there, so that's no good. But what about theta is equal to pi by two? One over sine of pi by two, okay? subtract sine of pi by 2. Now you know sine of pi by 2, sine of 90 is equal to 1. So 1 over 1 is 1, take away 1 is equal to 0. So we found a value of theta that makes this equal to 0. So because theta equals pi by 2 gives cosec theta subtract sine theta equals 0, we have a counterexample. And this counterexample proves that this thing is not always bigger than zero because theta pi by two in our range makes it equal zero, so we're done. Then for part B, so let's just take a quick um, snap of this to stop us jumping up. So it says find the values of theta in the interval zero to pi such that this thing is equal to two give your answer to two decimal places. So let's start off with what it means. Cosec means one over sine theta. So we have one over sine theta, subtract sine theta is equal to two. Multiply everything through by sine theta because I don't like that on the denominator. I have one, subtract sine theta squared is equal to two sine theta. <clears throat> Add sine squared to both sides and take away one. I have zero. <clears throat> equals sine squared theta plus two sine theta subtract one, like that. Now, you could try and factorize that, but you won't have any success factorizing that. Instead, use the quadratic formula. So sine theta, let's state our a. Our a, the coefficient in front of this is one, b is equal to two, and c is equal to negative one. So sine theta, is going to equal negative b, so negative two, plus or, or subtract the square root b squared, which is four, subtract four ac, so four multiplied by one, multiplied by negative one, all divided by two a, which would be two. So uh, what do we get as our answers? So we get that sine theta is therefore negative two, plus or subtract the square root of a divided by two, and the square root of a is square root four square root two, which is two root two. So this is negative two plus or minus two root two over two, which can be simplified as negative one plus or minus square root two over two. So that's, sorry, and not over two, just we've divided by two like that. So sine theta could be any of those things. Now it's worth getting the calculator out. If it was negative one, let's subtract root two. So negative one, subtract square root of two, you get negative 2.41, which you, which you can't have a solution because sine theta has to be between one and negative one. So sine theta is equal to negative one, subtract root two, you're going to ignore, there's no solutions. However, you would get a, an answer for sine theta is negative one, add root two, because negative one, add root two, going back up here, change that to an add, is uh, 0.41, so you would get an answer. So theta is the inverse sine of negative one plus root two. 
which I'm going to do inverse sine of negative 1 plus square root of 2, like that. And we're in degrees mode. Do we want to be in degrees mode? Check the question. We want to be between 0 and pi, so we don't. So I'm going to press equals, and then what I'm going to do is uh, go to radians mode and press equals again. So 0 0.427. So th theta is 0 0.427. Now we want to be to two decimal places, so 0 0.43, theta is 0 0.43, and we want our answers between 0 and pi. Now you should know what the sine graph looks like. The sine graph looks like this, and so if there's an answer 0 0.43 from 0, there'll be another answer here, which is 0 0.43 back from pi here. So the other answer is pi subtract 0 0.43, so our theta value is 0 0.43, and if you do pi subtract what you had before, it would be 2.71. So 2.71. Both of these radians, both of them answers to two decimal places. Could, of course, substitute them in here to check that it actually gives you 2, and that would be a very worthwhile thing to do. But we're done.